Hey there. Um, so tonight, um, which I think actually will work out nicely with tacos, which is what I have planned, I'm going to be drinking um, uh, Great Basin Brewing Company's Mayan, maybe not. And it looks as though, you know, so the, the Mayan calendar ended in 2012, so this is the third celebration of the end of the calendar or the end of the world, I'm not sure which. Um, so they have uh, the Maybe Not, this is a 2015 release version. It looks like they had Mayan Maybe um, with a question mark in 2012 and then Maybe Not in 2014 and 15. So um, I appreciate that good humor, that's wonderful. Um, this is an old style ale brewed with um, malt, cocoa nibs, molasses, honey, maize, vanilla beans, hops, chili peppers, and they snuck that on me, um, smoked malts, yeast, and water. Um, and so all of these things are supposed to be um, um, ingredients the Mayans cultivated. Chocolate, jalapeno, habanero, uh, vanilla, honey, maize. Um, so dark, bitter, sweet, spicy, smoky sip. Um, that hopefully goes good with tacos, but it sounds pretty legit to me. Um, it's 10.3% alcohol by volume. Holy moly! So... So, great, great basin, and they're out of Nevada, Reno, Nevada, um, and they build themselves as Reno's oldest, um, excuse, excuse me, Nevada's oldest brewery. Okay, so there's not really a style to put this into, it's like a specialty beer, um, it says it's an old style ale, um, but it's got all that stuff added, so we'll call it a specialty ale. Oh boy. Whoa. Now, there's so much going on. So I can definitely sp smell cocoa, smoke, um, spice. Um, it's o it almost has a smell like um, marinated olives, you know, with the pimentos in them. Um, so I guess salty. Um, mm. Malty. Yeah, yeasty. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. Some sweetness coming out of there. Um, mm. And tacos in the background. Um, so appearance-wise, this thing is black um, or very dark brown. It did pour with a pretty good head. Looks like it'll retain and at 10% um, alcohol. I'm expecting either lacing or legs or some combination. Um, flavor. <laughs> kind of nervous. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Ah! There's so much stuff going on in here. Um, I definitely get like a, a coffee, cocoa, um, chocolatey stout out of this. Um, or at least like a porter, just some, like a dark, definitely a dark ale. Um, and then I keep smelling this spiciness and this smokiness, but I don't really get the flavor until kind of in the after aftertaste. Um, yeah, it's not spicy and it's not smoky per se, but it's just like it has breaths of that in it. Um, really, this is a very good kind of chocolatey stout. Um, and it, ha it has this, um, like, just all these other flavors that get in there and, and intermingle. Um, not at all what I was expecting, having read the bottle. And actually, quite frankly, I guess I didn't read the, the ingredients list clearly when I ordered it because it said smoky and, and spicy, and I probably would have um, avoided that. But this is good. In the aftertaste, like a couple of breaths into it, I can kind of get a spicy flavor, but it's not like, oh, I'm drinking a beer with peppers in it. It's more like this ghost of flavor in the background. Um, same with the, the smokiness. It's more like a, a ghost of flavor in the background. It just lends to an interesting complexity. Um, mostly it, in the forefront comes, um, you know, this chocolate, this real strong chocolate flavor. It's real strong, um, oh, vanilla, yeah, the sweetness.
Wow. This beer is a treat. Um, and um, it, it should probably be shared with friends. Um, uh, after a couple drinks, I can start to get, like, um, drooly a little bit about it. Um, you know, but... You know, reading the ingredients list, it's a little um, off-putting, I think. You're like, holy moly, like, what is this going to taste like? But this beer is done very, very, very well. Um, so I definitely recommend, if you come across it, to give it a try. Um, I was able to find this on Tavor um, in my December um, order, which is great. Uh, arrived in January, which is great because, um, you know, the end of the, we were celebrating the third um anniversary of the end of the Mayan calendar and uh, so uh, cheers to still being here. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good night.